Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Ocean Intuitive Tarot. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I'm so happy that you are here with me and I hope you uh, are feeling cozy and that you are ready to listen to this reading about who is thinking about you. So let us check. First, we will have here uh, for the first group, we will have Aventurine. All right, and you will have this image. Second group here, you have this amethyst. And this is your image. Third group, you have this tiger's eye. And you will have this image. All right. So here you have group number one, number two, and number three. All right, my love. So check your timestamps in the description box and we will see each other in your readings. Bye! Hi my dears, if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. Let us check who's thinking about you. So this is someone that is really trying to take a look at something that they did. Um, and he's trying to look at it in a perspective, uh, in a more mature perspective, all right? He's someone that is trying to see different uh, faces of the coin, uh, to understand what really happened in a certain situation that was um, difficult for you too, perhaps even very cloudy. Um, it can be some accusations were made and um, probably based on fears between you two. And this person is trying to understand what happened, but it's kind of things are upside down in, and it's very, very difficult to see. And they might have people uh, surrounding them that uh, are not the best advisors, all right? So, who's thinking about you uh, is someone that um, recently you had any kind of argument, something that um, it seemed that things were not clear enough. And this person is trying to see things from different perspectives, trying to understand what really happened in your you know, this is emotional. This has to do with emotions. Uh, of course, when people are upset, the, um, they tend to go into the emotional emotional part. But I believe something didn't went well here. It seems a, a connection. Uh, something that was misunderstood, something that was not clear enough. And um, this person think believes that it's very difficult to reach um, the conclusions, any conclusions um, in this situation because it was so, so uh, messy. It was messy. <clears throat> this person feels kind of um, wanting to come out uh, of this confusion. They might be tall, all right, uh, and kind of, um, I would, elegant, you know, uh, elegant body, elegant body, yes, and tall. Mm. You know, um, though they, they are feeling that they need to observe here a different parts of a situation. This is someone that is trying to bring some maturity into this. 
but whatever move this person is wanting to do there's something here with the color red they might like the color red or this person normally is someone that acts because color red is related in numerology to the number one and number one is uh, normally uh, about uh, impulse, movement, confidence and normally they, they feel they are like that but um, there is some something here They're, they are uh, wanting to move only when they feel protected so first is like they want all of this messy situation I think it was a misunderstanding it seems that it was a misunderstanding here and first they want that this misunderstanding and the fears that were were awakened from this they want them to go away before they move because they they want to feel protected who's thinking about you is someone that wants to uh, offer you uh, a cup of love all right they want to appear in your life but they want to appear uh, and they want to return because there's something here about waiting for the the best opportunity to make a move because until there they are just going to observe things and try to understand what really happened and they want to do that with the perspective of being mature and holding their emotions in a very mature place and when they feel this confidence to move it might be that first these fears they need to go away these um, fears that were awakened um, when you two had this uh, problem they they really need to go away um, and they are going to be kind of looking from a distance uh, to understand if it's safe enough now to to really um, Hmm. The, this person is the one that are with fears here they are the one that are waiting for their fears to go away because they they want to feel secure enough to come towards you um, they want to feel that what you have is safe there's something about safety they want to feel that they are standing in a, in a firm ground at the same time this is someone that is um, understanding that there is a lesson here being learned and it's a lesson on how to grow things how to grow things in and get into into the point of um, illuminating something that is dark something that is messy something that is confusing there is a message here and i believe that is a message message of longevity you know a message of wanting to work this but um, trying to understand on how how to change from this state of being fearful having so many doubts um, kind of messing with them and get out of them trying to get out of that fight their own uh, demons and um, you know even feeling wounded but coming into more blue skies with hope even the situation uh, if the situation are messy is messy so what they are trying to find here is some kind of hope that um, will stand uh, through difficult times between you two it's like a belief that they 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 know they are going to the in they are going through the lesson of being stable uh, and believing 
believing there is something here that this person is uh, wanting to learn right though it is very very confusing times they want to feel stable during those confusing times that's why they are observing what happened in many different ways they want to get out of this uh, winning their self-doubts their fears and they want to come out of this having hope for the future for you too um, and being stable being you know feeling stable in this <clears throat> It's just that right now um, they are going through this and everything seems so confusing, so confusing. It's like they, they cannot uh, see yet, they cannot see yet that um, hope, everything is, is kind of dark. But what they really intend is to get out of that darkness and trust, trust, because there is a lesson here. There is a lesson being learned about how to feel confident um, inside so many questions and doubts and fears here about something that was misunderstood between you two that really left you unbalanced here. Um, if, precisely, uh, emotions. Emotions were kind of messy in this situation um, things there are from divine feminine nature you know maybe it, when divine feminine is not uh, trusting um, and is not confident in themselves fears can arise because it's like chaos um, can bring the fear because when there is no trust no confidence chaos brings uh, fear so if you if you don't do not have uh, power over your divine feminine fear may arise many times because you don't trust in the universe in creation um, when you don't trust in a universe in creation because it's so it's so um, it's something that you can never control is out of your uh, of our little minds and uh, control when you you know when you don't trust you're going to fear it and when you fear your abundance is not going to be there so I believe this this um, person started to see the fears uh, in this connection and but they are wanting to come out of this this might be someone that uh, didn't even talk to you about this and is trying oh my god so many cars I'm so sorry let me just put this this might be someone that um, didn't even talk with you about this because this might be what I'm seeing here might be very personal uh, travel here all right you might be feeling that something is uh, off or uh, you know but um, it seems to me that whatever is happening this person is trying to win this state over and trying to trust more that you too are going to come out of uh, this darkness of this cloudy um, state and when you do that is going to be uh, with the lesson learned here so this person is really wanting to go for the lesson they are wise this, this we are talking about the mature person because to do all this process and be conscious about it as I'm seeing this person is it needs to be a, a someone that uh, is mature and and is taking this serious is taking this serious what you have So let me check a bit more because I want to see more about this. Who is this person? Who is this person that is thinking about my group number one? Uh, 
is someone that in the moment is clearly going into a very uh, personal uh, travel because there's something here that this person can you see is the divine feminine and divine masculine are not balanced something happened that took this person into uh, inner travel so that they can get in touch with their inner child because the answer of the problems is in this person inner child um, the inner child needs to be healed of this uh, person whatever happened between you two really arose uh, some uh, fears from childhood of needing um, a, a protection bef before act um, it's like they are maybe they are trying to see things in another perspective because they realize that they had a certain pattern in relationships and now they are trying to do something different here but be aware that this is someone that uh, what happened between you two really took some some self-confidence from this person because they they don't trust they um they are also in not um in a divine uh, masculine um power they are not right because their foundation is not there the foundation is not there it's like when you don't ha have your divine feminine working your divine masculine cannot be working too divine feminine and divine masculine needs to be working in team so that you uh, so that everybody uh, feels uh, concretized all right they need to work as a team when one of these parts is not working uh, then you will feel very unbalanced and uh, divine feminine is not working divine feminine masculine is not going to work too because divine masculine though is not as much uh, about trust um is more about acting uh, going after what is all right uh seeing things clearly going after what they want um going after their dreams is like this movement in a uh, divine uh, masculine but when fear is there because divine feminine is not uh, is not trusting um when fear is there then divine masculine also has a problem because uh, divine masculine is not in their power anymore all right and it's going to be fearful of advancing in um in life so we are seeing here someone that instead of being um, in their divine masculine power or, and then divine feminine power and uh, the cards really fell on top of each other what we are having here is that um, this person is in opposition really um, needing to heal their inner child so what they are really looking here is for in their inner child what they are really looking here perhaps is is trying to understand what um, part of them is so is wounded that they need to confront it is time it's, it's just I believe this person is trying to feel secure emotional secure to do that because they know they have to do this who is this person who's thinking about my my dear group number one who's thinking about my dear group number one mm -hmm. <clears throat> Someone that in the moment is, is feeling kind of, you know, in wood, in the middle of a wood, in the middle of the unknown mystery. And we saw that uh, 
they are not dealing well with this mystery and this unknown. Hmm? So who is this person who's thinking about my dear group number one? Oh, yeah, it's like many questions are coming up, not being able to decide what they want here. Though we saw before that their wish is to have clarity enough so that they feel stable in your relationship. The problem of this person is insecurity. Not being able to move because of this confusion that really woke up their fears. All right? And um, it can be that they are going to do this for a while because sometimes we have those uh, inner sabotage you know that uh, you think that you are doing the work but um, at the same time your brain is kind of wanting to protect you from um, returning to these uh, traumatic experiences that you had in the past but it seems to me that this person um, is going to do it because they they want to do it now the time is the question here when when and um, when are they going to do this All right let me check here a bit more I want to see something I want to see more about this person let me take some cards from another deck here Who's thinking about my dear group number one? Yeah, it might be that this person is at the moment very defensive. Uh, and you will notice that this person is defensive here. So um, this is something that you will notice when you're talking, trying to connect with them. You will notice that they are defensive. Perhaps they are trying to um, defend uh, their perspective or uh, defend something that they feel they have the right, the right to defend in your connection. I want to see more, but I want to take from other, other um, decks. I want to take, I want to choose another deck here. To see uh, more about this person. Yeah, maybe this one. Who is thinking about my group number one? Wow, I was looking at this card. Wow, this card really wanted to come out. Now, um, they want to talk about some, some truth that they have, all right? Now, can it be the truth? We don't know. They need to talk with you. You need to uh, both um, talk about what happened, try to understand each other, but they are willing to do that. They are really to present to you a certain perspective. But as I saw, they are also willing to see other perspectives, okay? Um, at the moment, they are not seeing, they are not seeing the complete picture. So they are going to try to, to contact you or try to talk with you about that situation that they cannot see all the picture, but they are willing to talk. They are willing to bring some light into the darkness here. All right, so who, who is this person that is thinking about my group number one? Now, um, this is in general someone that has their uh, life um, stable, all right? At least in a, in a financial way. I see some stability here, Far, Father of Pentacles, um, yeah, I see someone that uh, in general is stable and they enjoy being stable and even in an emotional way, 
I can tell you that if this is someone and it seems to me that it is because they want to come out of this period of confusion is someone that like they are mature as I told you before mature and they like stability they like stability in their lives who is this person it might also be that you have something together like a business uh, some financial or a project or it can just be that this person is a very stable person and they they can also own an enterprise or be some sort of a team worker yeah this person you know is they really want to come out of this confusion these fears that they are having here <clears throat> all right my dear so um, i hope this resonated let me know in the comments um let me give you here an advice all right i want to give you an advice about this situation about this person let us see here an advice for my dear group them number one about this situation advice for my dear group number one about this yeah uh, mm -hmm. be generous um, you know be generous for yourself uh, and also for others and uh, speak your heart with authenticity in this situation, all right? Uh, be generous, let this person talk, but also talk what you were thinking and feeling. That's very important. Yeah, it's very important to express yourself, my dears, all right? So you too, if this is resonating with you, you too, it's also very important for you to express so it's good that this person is willing to express because you are also and it might be that you can uh, uh, resolve this situation all right so this is what i have for you my loves don't forget always to be in your heart space um, and uh, if you feel that you don't have to protect your heart spray space if you feel that um, this is someone that you want to, to maintain in your energy field, in your, um, you know, in your relations, in your connections. Now, you know, express yourself from your heart. Okay? Express yourself from your heart. So this is what I have for you. And um, yeah, we will see each other next readings. Bye. Hi, my dear group number two. So let us check here. Who is this person? Who's thinking about you? Now, what I think here that happened is that this person um, waited for, I believe this person contacted you and they never uh, received an answer. They were very hopeful that they could um, advance here or this person wanted to contact you and um, they never did. This can also be possible. It's also a situation. They wanted to contact you, but for some reason, something went wrong here. Or a conversation was blocked or they couldn't. They couldn't um, contact you. But they really wanted and they wanted to clarify things. Uh, they had this hard, this, um, third eye chakra very open that means that they realized something that they really wanted to, to to tell you but for some reason message was not received here so for um in one way it was like <clears throat> they felt that something something really um there was a phase uh, of suffering and a phase that 
you know, was not good at need, needed to end here. And they felt that they really wanted and needed to gain some strength after uh, this, this blocked here a conversation that they had with you. This might be someone that is strong in, um, you know, in, in feature, in uh, characteristics, body characteristics, strong. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so they, they decided to look at uh, themselves. They decided to look at um, probably even some parts of them that uh, was not, were not stable here. There's something about here not being stable somehow. Some emotional part even that was not stable here. They decided to take a look at uh, even some behaviors of some manipulation that they had. Interesting. Because they want to get somewhere by by um, revealing the truth of themselves they wanted to get somewhere that they couldn't so they wanted to get somewhere with that you know uh, i see here someone that uses uh, unfortunately some manipulation here you might have blocked this person that we are talking about this person uh, is a seducer really enjoys seducing and when they appear they don't appear with the right uh, emotions here they they like to seduce this might be someone that is going through problems with stability in life, uh, relationships, and also in their financial. There is a, a, a certain truth that this person needs to realize in their lives. And this is for sure someone that don't feel protected and don't feel that they are celebrating at the moment because they think that karma is getting to them they think that they are receiving a big lesson in their lives it can be that is someone that you know that they lost things financial things and a certain uh, connection even could be the connection with you they lost and because of that they also lost some financial gains here we are talking about someone that doesn't bring the best to the table that really uh, because for some reason they don't they cannot access easily or they couldn't express their emotional way or they 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 kind of you know it can be that we are talking about someone that was faking something here. It's possible. And it's, it was entering in this seducer mode to get somewhere. But they couldn't. It's like they couldn't. They were blocked from one way and from another. They couldn't. All right. Who's thinking about you? Is someone that is not happy at the moment and is learning a big lesson. A big lesson here. <clears throat> yeah. Let us che uh, let us uh, see more. So, who's thinking about my group number two? Let us check. 
I was thinking about my group number two. Someone that is being sneaky, you know, sneaky, trying to run away with their behaviors. Not wanting to face themselves. Not wanting to see the reality of themselves because we saw here that they wanted to face the beast inside of them but it seems that it wasn't for self healing it wasn't it was to use it in some shape or form in their favor because this person is not willing to face the truth who is this person that is thinking about my group number two And not wanting to see things, not wanting to see things um, as they are. Someone that refuses to see things as they are and they kind of walk around in life uh, a bit as a fu fugitive. I don't like this, this uh, energy, my loves. I can tell you here, there's some, something here someone very very immature someone that knows that um, they are not using their energy in the best way and someone that really knows that they are lear learning the lesson of their lives okay but they are not facing the problem they are not realizing that their energy is not the best here They are trying to run away with something that happened here. Mm -hmm. In a sneaky way, sneaky. This person is very, very sneaky. So let us see a bit more. Who is this person that is thinking about my group number two? Is this person that likes uh, that? Yeah, they might like to see your pictures, uh, see th things about you. Who's thinking about my group number two? Not balanced. Not balanced. Not balanced. This person. Who's thinking about my group number two? Mm -hmm. Who's thinking about my group number two? This person wants to achieve something. Wants to achieve something, but... Um, they are feeling that they cannot because of what we see this is you know this is someone that wants they don't want to to face the truth and um, they are learning a lesson here because uh, they are having their abundance blocked here who's thinking about my group number two ooh, 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 ooh. <clears throat> Someone that is really, really, really facing some dark uh, moments here and needing for a transformation in their lives. Needing for a transformation in their lives. Now, let me check a bit more. Who's thinking about my pile number two? Very interesting because this was the same card as group number one. 
Now, this is someone that for sure is going to come um, and try to convince you of their rights, all right? Try to convince you, you of their point of view. So be aware because their energy is not great and they know what they are doing and uh, be aware of this energy. They are not very balanced. Uh, <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Now, this can be someone that you work with, again, um, uh, this can be someone that you are, um, you were friends with before, you know, but uh, for some reason this person never felt very uh, adequate, adequate, I think you say like that or they never felt that they belonged. There was some difference here in this person. There's something different about this person, All right? Who is this person that is thinking about my group number two? This person always felt like they were talking a different language than you. It's like, yeah, there is a lot of misunderstandings, things that was were misunderstood in your connection or between you two or even between the, uh, them and this group of people here that you belong to, right? This group that you also belonged. So I think you have an idea about who is this person. Now, let me give you an advice here for you to deal with this situation. Let us uh, see here. Advice for my dear group number two about this person. Advice for my dear group number two about this person. Advice for my dear group number two about this person. Yeah, you know, it's, it's healthy for you to express yourself. Now, you know that expressing yourself doesn't need to be um, with this person or to this person. Because we are seeing here who's thinking about you, but you know what happened, all right? You know if you feel that you still have something to say or if you already said everything, all right? Sometimes, you know, uh, you don't need to repeat yourself over and over again because the person is not going to uh, change their mind. You already did that. You, re you already said things and the person didn't understand. So... Um, it's up to you to, to see if you still have something to say there, but it comes to a point that you don't need to repeat yourself over and over again, yeah? Um, and probably you, you can talk and it's very healthy to talk even with your friends, your family about this situation. Be aware that this person is not wanting to, um, you know, change the reality somehow of what happened be aware that you hold your truth and you understand what you went through if it helps you write down things and reflect on them uh, reflect on what you f you went through all right so that there is not a chance here of someone um, convincing you that what you felt didn't happen or something like that right so very important to write down and um because you when you're writing down you're also organizing your thoughts all right you're also um you know reinforcing your your experience because you what you experienced matter all right so no let it is you 
that have to decide if um, you know what you are going to do with the experience that you had. It's not another person that is going to tell you what to do, right? Now, uh, of course, express yourself always. Now, let me see here. Advice for my dear group number two about this situation. Yeah. Accept your emotions and your thoughts. And also understand others' fragility with compassion and intelligence. You know, um, of course, when we meet someone that is acting in this way that we saw here, um, they are doing a lot of this because of their fragilities, because of their unbalance in the moment. And by recognizing that in another and um, understanding where they come from, it doesn't mean that you need to receive them in your life. It can be that you understand that that person needs healing and um, if they keep um, misusing their energy and uh, if they keep affecting you that in the bad way uh, with that misused energy maybe that you don't want to you know to allow this person into your vibration anymore and you have the right to do that all right, so understanding where a person comes from uh, can also be giving them the, the right and the space to heal um, and, uh, you know, giving you the right to move into another direction if you choose to do that. Now, if you see that this was a moment and something that you can work with for because you're not feeling completely depleted and um, this is something very personal actually and um, it's just by clarifying here that acting with compassion and intelligence sometimes is understanding that uh, that person in that moment cannot see better than that but at the same time is giving them space to heal while you also need to heal so you give you your space to heal and uh, probably you need to go separate ways for a while all right yeah so my dears this is what i have for you and uh, let me know in the comments if this resonated and if it did press like subscribe and we will see each other next reading bye Hi, my dears, if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. <clears throat> now, my loves, what I see here is this person really, you know, they think the world of you. It's someone that really admires, admires you and um, they really want to let that be clear. They really want that to be expressed. They really got into that conclusion. They really want something serious with you because their emotions are serious. We are talking here about someone that um, wants to do the long way, the long run. It might be that something happened here that um, really let, left this person thinking, um, thinking about how can they achieve what they would like to achieve with you. It can be that there was a, a problematic phase here between you two, a painful phase between you two, that uh, this person wants to bring some healing into what happened healing 
uh, they want to bring you some comfort into uh, that uh, situation that happened and they want uh, this is someone that really wants this pain this confusion these even arguments to go away and they want to move into a new direction even though they know that it was very 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 painful it might be that you had a moment of separation a moment that you two went you know they felt like it was cold it was cold that is what I'm, I'm seeing here it was cold mm -hmm. but they kept moving they kept moving until they felt that things were growing away uh, again all right until they felt things were growing again and uh, they understood in this pain that they went through here that they really wanted to express you something because something beautiful can be uh, uh, born from your connection they see you as their soulmate this is someone that might be from a different background than you all right they can have more um, financial security here um, but this is for sure someone that wants something serious with you because they feel the connection and this is not a connection that is uh, superficial at all so what they want to do here my my dears is that they are wishing to change transform this connection coming out of um, what they want to transform here it might be communication they feel that something here needs to change and, and it can be that there was a lack of communication here that they need because they have things to tell you they are thinking about you because they have things to tell you they have a lot to tell you about your relationship and about how much they are willing to work in this connection because they are feeling that um, destiny and life is bringing you together they are feeling that this was not just a coincidence or just something that happened no there is a future here between you two and they are willing to uh, construct this uh, relationship now they are also wanting to express the seriousness of what they are feeling all right the deep feelings that they have for you and it might be that they know that you are going to feel surprised by this somehow can be that you too were not seeing clear things before but this person is seeing it very very clearly right now and they are willing to express that it's like the clouds are uh, went away and they they understood how much a wish fulfillment you are in their lives you are the person that they want to spend their lives with and this is serious what i'm seeing here is something something very serious for this person so if this is your reading you might know uh, precisely who this is because it seems serious it seems someone that you already had something um karmic situation that happened here something like that 
but whatever it is is going to what they want to express is going to be huge it's like it can also be that this person wants uh, to talk about something really serious about your commitment with you they realize something uh, very serious like um, I don't know if it can be that this person is having in their minds to reveal that deep feelings for you reveal that they believe that they see you two growing together in life and uh, uh, build building um, a family together or you know it's like they are ready to speak things to uh, move your relationship into um, a higher uh, direction, you know, a more serious, let's say, direction. It can be about marriage. It can be that this person suddenly uh, understood that you are the person that they are going to be marrying and they are willing to put the work here um, in this situation. All right. So let us see a bit more about this person. Who is this person? Who's thinking about my group number three? Who is this person that is thinking about my dear group number three? Mm -hmm. All right, so let us see a bit more because uh, this is weird in this moment. Let us check. Who is this person that is thinking about my group number three? All right, I understand what's happening. This is actually someone that though they are willing to, to tell you something here, they are also waiting for you. They are also waiting for a sign. There is a sign of you that they are waiting here it's like you know to kind of have the spark that they need it's like they are trying to look for a sign from you um, yeah let us see more who is this person that is thinking about my group number three Mm -hmm. someone that really wants to get out of that um, cold space that I felt before you know that probably distance probably not talking about uh, feelings even feeling defeated here there was something that happened here like a judgment call something that happened that really made this person you know suffer for a while I was thinking about my dear group number three <laughs> this is your wish fulfillment this is your dream coming true this is the person of your dreams this is someone that you love someone that you hold deeply in your heart that is thinking about you so if this is your reading you know precisely who this person is all right now 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 let me see here because i feel that you know who this person is this is so serious here that for sure you need to know now let me uh, here uh, see some advices for you. Let me find here a deck that will give me those advices. Uh, I can start with this one and let's see. So advices for my dear group number three about this situation. Let us look at it. Advices about the situation. Let us see. <laughs> okay, so this is very beautiful. You know, 
Beauty is very important in life. Is is a clear sign of abundance in our lives. All right. When someone is available for beauty, it it has it has a um, a meaning that someone is abundant in their lives. So when someone can surround themselves with beauty, beauty is a kind of um, uh, equals abundance, all right? Uh, there are many forms of beauty, of course, and uh, beauty is also something very private, but um, in personal, because we don't like ev everybody, uh, we don't like all uh, of the same things, all right? But uh, normally beauty is associated with uh, being delicate or bringing some, uh, some delicate things into our lives. Because normally rush things or um, uh, is, is, is a lot about how they let you feel. If you feel someone is talking, talking in, a, in a very delicate way with you, you enjoy that in general is something that uh, makes you feel uh, good you know it's, it's it's beautiful to hear it has a harmony so beauty is also talking about harmony a kind of a harmony inside of it while uh, something that um, really is more um, rush you know harsh I think you say it or um, something that um, hurts you somehow even in your ear um, in your ear yes is is more ugly and uh, it, it, ha it can have this feeling of hurting even your ear you have that with certain musics that you don't appreciate that's why beautiful is something very personal and something uh, very um, unique for each one of us, all right? So, but in general, beauty is related to harmony. And there are many ways of creating harmony, all right? So when you implant that in your lives, is, um, you know, because it's precious, is something that is related to abundance in your life. So every time, that you can. It's very important to use beauty around you and that is personal, that is something that is going to be uh, with your own taste but it's important to feel it, it's about feeling it surrounding you, all that beauty uh, because it's about, is when you feel it that you are connecting with that abundance um, vibration. And the advice here is that is for you to create beauty around you. And also when you talk, create beauty when you talk. Talk with feeling, talk with, um, with um, gentleness, with your, you know, explore harmony inside of you. Sometimes we don't even have idea we never thought about it. Explore how it is harmony. Try all, uh, always to put yourself in the receiver mode when you speak, for example, and uh, try to understand how much impact what you are saying is going to have in the other person, how much sweetness, how much harmony you have in there, right? And not just that, but everything that surrounds you, not just by talking. So um, here the advice is that create beauty around you in every word, in every act and everything that you do uh, create grace and beauty. Remember that beauty is related to harmony, all right? And um, surround yourself with that. Even if you're not ready yet to talk uh, with this person, because, you know, I was just seeing in general who is this person and the situation. 
but I can see that you still you t also have deep feelings uh, with this person. Remember that what do you want to plant here? How do you want to nurture this garden of yours? Because what you're going to give and plant is what you're going to receive. So if nurture is something that you want to be uh, receiving from this connection, uh, plant also that nurture, all right? Harmony is something that you want to be receiving from this connection, also so should be something that uh, you can plant. Sometimes we are not aware that can also happen. So it can be time for you to be aware of what is harmony, what is beauty for you, all right, for you, and what you want to create around you. So let me just see another advice for you, my loves. Advice for my dear group number three. Yeah. Don't wait for other people uh, consentment about things. Have confidence in yourself. I believe you have pretty clear here something that you feel about this person. Uh, otherwise, this card wouldn't appear here. So, I believe that you already know about your feelings. So, when you trust in yourself enough, you understand that you can protect yourself. So, you will not come from a position of fear. You will come from a position of confidence in who you are. So, for you to have that confidence, you should never stop nurturing yourself. Nurturing yourself should be there, even in a relationship. Be aware never to lose the space where you are creating self-confidence and never allow anyone to take that space of self-confidence from you. When you feel that your self-confidence is going down, it's time for healing. It's time to understand what is happening. It's time to go inwards, all right? Because that self-confidence should al always be there because it's, a sp it's the space that you are going to create with. It's the space that is going to receive abundance. It's from self-confidence. It's from trust that life is going to give you the abundance that you need. So trust should always be there. Trust in yourself. So when you come into a relationship, that trust should never leave you. And once you feel that your confidence is going away, that this time is, is life telling you that it's time for self-healing. And in a mature, in a mature connection, you both are going to understand when you need time for self-healing. All right, because you're going to include activities, meditation, things in your lives that will put you in confident, um, in contact with that confidence again. All right, confidence in a relationship should never be lacking. It's very important for two people to have that confidence because it's from there that uh, people are going to share. So it's also important not to affect each other confidence, but nurture, nurturing each other confidence. That is also a good sign of if the relationship is, um, is healthy, because when a relationship is healthy, both of you are going to nurture each other self-confidence. All right? So this is what I have for you, my loves. Let me know in the comments if this resonated. And if it did, please press like, subscribe, and we are going to see each other next reading. Bye.